Hey, welcome back to Hellebuck's Trading Post. The gun shop inside the antique shop, or is it an antique shop inside a gun shop? You be the judge. Before I get started with today's video, I just want to give a big shout out to Frank Myers, our Patreon supporter. Thank you, Frank. I really appreciate your support. For those of you that don't know what Patreon is, there is a link provided below. Check it out. Patreon is a way for viewers to support your favorite channel, including our channel. Running a channel takes time and money. We've got a shoestring budget here. We'd like to upgrade our equipment to provide better videos for you guys. And all that takes money like everything else. So we'd appreciate any support you can provide. There's several levels. Check it out. Again, the link is below. Now that that's out of the way, we've got something special for you this week. You know, it, it just dawned on me a couple days ago, do a, do a Trump 1911 video. We've had a couple of these come and go. Didn't even dawn on me until a couple days ago. So here we are. We've got the auto ordinance Trump 1911. This is something pretty special. We're going to show you a close up on it right now. Okay, let's start with a quick unboxing. The pistol comes in a real nice hard case. We have our owner's manual. By the way, this is a great owner's manual. They have actual pictures in it, lots of details. These special commemorative pistols, I try not to fondle or, or tear into too much. I try to leave them intact. We've all seen owner's manuals, but uh, I did take a peek at one earlier in the year. It's an excellent manual. And this is how it comes packaged. You get one magazine with it, you get your safety lock, and of course the pistol. So let's give you a close-up of this pistol. I'm going to start with the magazine. It is a standard Thompson Auto Ordnance mag. It's a seven round stainless mag. It holds seven rounds. I'm not going to put the magazine in this. Again, we try not to handle these commemorative pistols any more than we need to. Folks get pretty fussy and rightfully so. They don't want any signs of wear or handling on them. So there's the magazine. Let's get right to the pistol. So lots of details to tell you on this one. It was released in early 2019. It is a model 1911A1 chambered in 45 ACP. It has a 5 inch match grade barrel. Grips are, are a, a laminate wood checkered grip with the Thompson Ordnance inlaid gold medallion right there. It's a beautiful pistol. Highly engraved on this side as you can see it says Make America Great Again. We have Donald Trump and the White House. And then we have a flagpole. When I got my first pistol in, first one of these, I thought, hey, there's a scratch on it. But it's not. It's the flagpole with the flag. You can see it there. So again, forward and rear serrations. Nice deep serrations. No problem getting a hold of this slide. If we flip it over to the right side, we've got... Donald J. Trump, 45th, with the presidential seal on it. And if you look closely, I guess we'll start with this side, the, the dust cover, we have the American flag on the dust cover. Right there. And then on this side, again, American flag. Real nice touch. I think you can see that. The slide and frame on this pistol are made out of stainless steel. There you've got the high sweep beaver tail. Laminated wood grips with the medallion inside. Beautiful grips. Forward grip serrations. Front and rear slide serrations. They did a great job on the engraving. And both the front and rear sight are dovetailed. They have these sights listed as combat sights. It does have a full length guide rod. I'll show you this side. Again, we have a skeletonized trigger. It does have the checkered front strap, as I mentioned, and then the high sweet beaver tail. As far as the trigger, a little bit of take up on it, hardly any at all. There's your wall, 
and I would say that's exactly what I would expect. It's a pretty nice trigger. A little bit on the heavy side. I would say it's definitely over five pound trigger. Show you the take up again. Very minimal. And a nice crisp break. Yeah, I would say that's six to seven pound trigger. Do this one more time here so you get to see it. There's the wall. Very nice trigger. Total weight of this pistol, it's listed as 39 ounces, which is just under two and a half pounds total. Here's a top view for you. So there you go, the Auto Ordnance Trump 1911 pistol. Auto Ordnance makes a great product, and this is certainly no exception. They did a wonderful job on it. The fit and finish is excellent. The engraving is nice and sharp and clear. It feels good in the hand. I mean, what's not to like, right? It's a 1911 pistol. It's an American icon. It's hard to believe this design's been around for well over 100 years. And I gotta tell you, John Moses Browning would be pleased with this version as well. Street price, you're looking at about $1,200 to $1,300, give or take. I did contact Auto Ordnance during the filming of this video and they did tell me that there's no production limits on this currently. They're going to continue to make this model. This is their 01 model. They also make another version of a 1911 Trump edition called an 02 model. Uh, that has a different finish and the biggest thing that you'll notice on the 02 model is it has Trump's image on the grip. That 02 model they're going to limit production to 2020 units. How appropriate. So there's a couple versions out there to look for. They also make a Glock Trump commemorative. We're going to try to get one of those. And my favorite, they make a Tommy gun commemorative. We're trying to get one of those as well. They've been back ordered for a while. If we happen to get a Tommy gun, we'll certainly do a video and show you that one. Thanks again for watching. I hope you like what you saw. If you did, click on that like button. Tell your friends about us. Help us grow. Better yet, click on that subscribe button. Subscribe to our channel. We've got lots of videos headed your way, and we really appreciate you tuning in. One more shout out to Frank Meyer, our Patreon supporter. Definitely check out our Patreon page. We could use all the support we can get. Thanks again. Have a great week.